Hello, my name is Henry Shuck. I'm the founder and CEO of Zoom Info. And on this episode of In Your Corner, I'm going to show you how to run an incredibly advanced search that keys in on multiple company and persona criteria that includes tech stack, funding, intent data, and brings that all together in one place. No need to go to seven different vendors or eight different waterfalls all in one place inside of Zoom Info. Let me show you how you do it. So here's my criteria. So we go through it really quick. We've got companies that have between 50 and 100 employees. In the industry of software, we're looking for companies that have a tech stack of Salesforce or HubSpot. They've got to be located in the United States. I'm looking for people who are CIOs, Chief Information Officers, Chief Technology Officers, or SVPs or VPs of Information Technology. I would like to see companies that have received at least $30 million of funding. I'd like to see them spiking on the intent topic of security breaches. And just for fun, I'm also going to add in that they can't be a current customer in our Salesforce system. If you think about the complexity of the search, in a lot of instances, you've got to go to three or four or five vendors just to bring this all together. I'm going to show you how to do it natively inside of Zoom Info, existing functionality for any current Zoom Info user. So let's get started here. Right here in Zoom Info's advanced search, pretty simple, but I'm going to come in here and I'm going to say, look, I'm looking for employee count minimum 50 and maximum 100. Got that. Great. Now, what else do I want? I want to make sure that they're in the software industry. Pretty simple here. I'm going to go over to industry. I'm going to type in software and I'm going to choose everything in software and custom software services inside of uh, business services. Then I'm also going to choose that they're only in the United States. Again, a pretty easy one here. I've got a locations filter. All I'm going to need to do here is just type or oh, just going to click U.S. states. Now I'm limited to just companies in U.S. states. And I said, look, I wanted to see companies that received at least $30 million of funding. Oh, now I got to go out to a funding vendor. Nope, not really. I'm just going to come in here. Total funding raised. Here it is. I'm going to say at least $30 million. Boom. Got it. There's a thousand companies here. And then we said we wanted to see them spiking on security breaches. Perfect. I'm going to come down here into intent. Oh God, in any other system, I'd have to go to another vendor. But instead here, I'm going to hit search single topic cluster. I'm going to type in security breaches, select security breaches, select that. And I've got a pretty small list now. Um, and I can go one more step here if I want to. And I can say, show me accounts where they're not a customer. So I'm gonna select customer and I'm gonna select exclude customers. And so now I've built this really tight list of companies that are between 50 and 100 employees that are in software, they're located in the United States, they've received $30 million of funding, they're spiking on security breaches and they're not a current customer in Salesforce. When I get to this point, I realize, okay, this is a pretty small list and how can I expand it? Because Three companies is just not big enough for me to run a campaign. So I'm actually going to go up and I'm going to say, you know what, instead of 50 to 100, why don't I go 50 to 1,000 employees? Put that in. Now I've got, uh, opened it up a little bit, 17 companies that are spiking on security breaches. And so now I want to add in that persona data, right? I said, I want to look for chief information officers, chief technology officers, SVPs and VP of information technology. Great. No problem. I'm going to come in here. I'm going to say job title and role. I'm going to say VP level, C level. And then I'm also going to include, we said information technology and we said engineering. And if I want to add in here too, chief technology officer, I'm going to choose that chief information officer. I'm going to choose that. And we said Senior Vice President Information Technology. Boom. Got my company list here. I've got my contacts in this tab here. And so I can see that list of contacts. I can see that list of companies. I've got all of them here. And now if I want to go one step further, I can select all of these contacts. I can export them directly into Salesforce. I can take them to Dynamics. I can take them to Outreach or Sales Loft or I can hit this email button 
and it'll start, the AI at Zoom Info is gonna start drafting me messages to every one of these contacts. And they're specific to the specific contact and the specific company. It knows who Zoom Info is, it knows who the company is, it's drafting a very specific message. Now, I can also add additional context. Let's say as I'm going through this list, I realize that at AppDirect, um, we met at a recent conference. Um, we met at the, Dreamforce conference in 2023. I can add that in, ask it to draft again, and boom, now I have that inside of my context. It's brought all that information together, a really specific list. Remember, we started here with an incredibly specific list. You don't have to go get an, a technographics vendor or a company data vendor and a contact data vendor and a funding data vendor and an intent data vendor. And then I've got all of my CRM data incorporated here as well. So I can easily with one click, just limit out exclude out anyone who's already in my CRM. If you haven't dug into the incredible power of Zoom Info and the ability to build really complex micro audiences that you can really specifically prospect to and use AI to get really specific messaging to, reach out to your account manager, reach out to your customer success manager, reach out to me. I'm on LinkedIn. My email is just henry.shuck at zoominfo.com. We'd love to help you get more out of Zoom Info. Thank you.